everyone. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on this quite stormy night. I am joined by the always beautiful Becca. And in tonight's video, there will be no products or facial. It's just simply going to be a very soft and gentle hair and face brushing experience for her. So we hope you enjoy. And I wanted to incorporate the sense of smell into this treatment. So I will be using a toner. And I'll just Miss that around Becca. And this toner is just very basic. It's eucalyptus and lavender. So I'll just let her take that aroma in. I'm going to take this really cute little wooden comb and I do love the sounds of wooden combs so that's also a nice benefit to the tree. And I find that if you are lying down and having your hair combed on a pillow, you can kind of feel the hair on the scalp being tugged a little bit more, which is really nice. honestly feel that this is one of the most relaxing and soothing things you can have done, especially of an evening. It just really helps to unwind you and to make you feel so much more at ease. Yet again, Becca has been very hard at work and I really, really wanted to try and do a relaxing treatment for her before 
This brush feels really pleasant on the scalp. some attention to around the ear and I'm wanting to just be very soft I want Becca to be able to just drill it off into a really nice and comfortable trying to almost talk around the hair a little bit and this is one of my most favourite things to do to just play with the hair some attention to the neck and the face area and I have chosen these extremely soft fan brushes to use tonight so I'm just very gently gliding them over the face and then through the hair Sweeping them over the forehead as well. And again, I'll just turn her to the side. So that I can run the brushes up and down her neck. Yeah. 
as gentle as I can be. And I would say that these brushes are quite ticklish, but because they cover enough of the area of the skin, it's not too much, so it feels very some attention to the other side now. Gently running the fan brushes over her neck and her shoulders and on the side of her face. honestly feel that this kind of treatment and personal care should be able to be accessed in every single spa and also therapist's office because I do truly feel that the two could in fact marry up together And this is what I try to create for my clients and my friends. An extremely relaxing and calming and nurturing experience. Where they just feel completely at ease. And can just leave all of their worries behind just for a little while. I also like to spray my brushes with lavender and sometimes tea tree or eucalyptus, depending on what kind of treatment I'm doing. Because I find that if you try and include all of the primary senses, it just makes for a much better I'm going to just move back to the side for a moment. And I'm moving on to use this tiny little makeup brush. And it's an oval foundation brush. Or concealer brush, I'm not quite sure. But what I do know is it's extremely extremely soft. And again, I'm just using that to run it over the shoulders and up the neck and behind the ear and into the Tension around the ear always feels very pleasant. And I am definitely one for enjoying my ears to be massaged and played. So 
trying to use my fingertips to trace over the skin at the same time also. grabbing some baby hairs as I go. a slightly different makeup brush that will have a slightly different feel over the skin. So again, I'll begin with gently tracing over the ear. Slowly gliding up and down the neck and the shoulders. And again, taking a moment. Use this brush on the other side of the neck and the shoulder. And around the ear. Personally, this would probably be very close to my perfect treatment for myself. So do you like to try and take in as much as I can from my friends and my clients when I'm performing these ASMR treatments because I feel it's important to really gauge what they are enjoying or if they may not be enjoying something as much and that kind of tells me to maybe not do that. 
again for that particular person next time round. Take my two wooden tail coats and just take a moment to comb them through Becca's hair. Take the pointy ends and gently graze them over the hairline for a moment. And because they're wooden, they are a little bit more soft, so they feel really nice on the scalp. on the side and the nape of the scalp. I'm just going to check Becca's scalp a little bit for a moment, making sure it's looking nice and healthy. Becca did mention that some areas of her scalp have been a little bit uncomfortable recently, particularly the sides, and I can see that it is a little bit red, but nothing to worry too much about. looking quite happy and healthy on the bottom part of the scalp, so that's good. And it could just be that we are going into the autumn months and we're starting to put our heating on and it dries our skin out so much, so much. So she may just need a little bit of the scalp treatment done, so I'd be more than happy to do that for her at a later time. For tonight, we're just keeping it very relaxing. quickly check the other side of her scalp. Just make sure that everything's looking okay on this side as well. around here, but I 
Again, it could just be where she has been laying down and the blood has rushed to the surface of the scalp. So I'm now going to use this spoolie for a moment. And I'm going to very, very gently run it over Becca's eyelashes. I did this for Becca a little while ago, maybe last year, and she told me afterwards that she really, really enjoyed it. over the lashes a moment to just brush the brows back into place. So I'm brushing them upwards and then over. And then also the other brow just again upwards and then gently sweep the brows back go home and go to bed and I'll also let you go and drift off to a beautiful sleep as well but thank you so much for joining us tonight we really hope you have enjoyed this video if you did so then please do give it a like and leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again soon.